Here in Indiana, it's not unusual at all to find Hoosiers doing something good in complete anonymity. They don't do it for attention. They do it because they know what it can mean to someone in need. Photographer Clint Erbacher and I found there's very people bringing comfort in the form of trauma dolls. This place is never a good place to be. That is why so many people at this place work so hard to put as good a face on it as possible. Sometimes that means no face at all. Without face. In fact, no one ever sees these faces. Every Monday for at least three years, some say more, these women gather to cut. I take them home and show them. Stitch. I'm not a stuffer and I'm not an artist, so this is something I can do. Stuff. You want to make sure all the nooks and crannies are covered. Yeah. And paint dolls to put a smile on the face of a child whose face they will never see. The little children love them. <laughs> Some of the trauma dolls literally have no face, giving the child an opportunity to draw their own on it, thereby revealing their innermost feelings. The rest are actually two faces. It's one side smiles and one side has crying tears. I think of all the children that will get a joy out of this and uh, be able to express themselves by sad or happy. The doctor can ask them how they feel, and they can either put up the smiley face or the sad face. It's hard for a small child, particularly if they're not feeling good, to explain to you how they're feeling. The strawberry tends to about 3 o'clock. It's also a great opportunity for these residents at Hoosier Village to get together socially. Our hands are busy, and our... our, our our chatting is just a side issue. Is there anywhere else you'd rather be on a Monday morning? No, but I often have to go to the ophthalmologist. <laughs> <laughs> I belong to the Parkinson's group, and last week we discussed apathy and that apathy is the killer of people with Parkinson's. You don't have apathy when you come and sit in this group. And the goal is to make sure there is no apathy in this room as well. Ooh, that's cool. It's good to know that these children are enjoying these, and they you, they just hold them and play with them and look at them, and who knows what they're thinking. I would just love to be in their little minds to, to see and to know. 3,210, that's a lot of dolls. It is a lot of dolls. It's a lot of, a lot of Monday mornings. But this face makes it all worthwhile. Uh, it really does. An Indiana horse has unbridled artistic talent. His world-famous painting techniques are now known around the world. We're going to catch up with Justin, the artistic horse. Plus? Did Bill make castle, I'll marry you. And he said, okay. And he did. <laughs> <laughs> it's the home that turned heads, turns heads. We'll take you to the castle built with love.